Hey everybody, this is Data Talks again, and I am back for some more Pandas Punishment. Uh, so I'm gonna be going through Pandas exercises, trying to do it in a speedy way, but also show you how a data scientist might go through these. Hopefully it will be helpful. I have not seen this at all, so this is a completely new thing for me. So hopefully it will just be really easy and we'll zip through it. Otherwise, here, here comes the pain. Um, Okay, so let's see what we're doing. So we're gonna import some libraries. This is, seems pretty similar to our previous uh, example of Chipotle, which you can go ahead and check out up here. Um, uh, I always import it as PD. This is something that you guys probably already know about me. Importing this from an address. Let's copy this address. It's probably a URL. Um, data.u.user hmm um interesting let's let's see let's actually go to this content okay uh looks like it's going to be a uh a csv that's separated by these pipes uh so that should be pretty simple uh so let's go ahead and make this url um again something that some people don't know but read csv I can go ahead and it can take a URL instead of an actual, um, or I guess a URI, whatever you want to call it, uh, instead of an actual CSV that's on disk. Uh, our separation is going to be this. Uh, this will be our data frame. Um, sign to a variable called users. Uh, okay, so we'll make a variable called users equals df. Um, and make the user ID as the index. So think to yourselves for a second how you would go ahead and set the index set underscore index um, and let's go ahead and say user uh, ID I'm just trusting that it exists okay and it does exist uh, we can go ahead and do this in place I believe um, yep uh, in place equals true okay uh, let's look at the first uh, 25 entries dot head I don't I have no idea what this is in truth um, it was called occupation, so it looks like people's occupations, a technician, writer, other. Okay, it looks a little bit easier than the previous one. Uh, to see the tails, uh, we can go ahead and do tail. Um, let's see the last 10 entries, uh, so this will go ahead and do that. Um, doesn't look like there's any real order to it. Uh, okay. What is the number of observations in the data set? This is always something that we should do. Um, and it kind of gets you into the habit of it early. Uh, and you, you can do this with info. So 943, uh, and it looks like they're all non-NA. Number of columns in the data set you can already see here, um, but we'll go ahead and just print out the names of all the columns. Age, gender, occupation, zip code. The data set is indexed by their user ID. Um, which we can again see with uh, the index n64 name is user ID what's the data type for each column again you can see this with info uh, int string 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 print only the occupation column um, how many different occupations are in the data set uh, do you guys know this off the top of your head uh, this is a good one. So it's number of unique in unique. Uh, 21. What is the most frequent occupation? Um, value counts is the really good one. Uh, student, it seems. Uh, summarize the data frame. <laughs> um, I don't really know what it wants us to do here. Uh, so users.describe goes ahead and does some summary. The one thing that you want to do is you want to say include um, goes to all. So you get the uh, string columns as well. Um, so student, gender, most of them are male. Um, the zip codes are pretty dispersed. Uh, 795 zip codes. That summarized everything. Uh, summarize the occupation column. Um, 
It's already summarized up here. So I feel good. What's the mean age of the users? Users.age.mean. Uh, what is the age with the least occurrence? Okay. Um, so we're going to do again uh, value counts. Um, now, I mean, you can always do this. Um, let's see. Sort true ascending. So we'll go with uh, uh, ascending. Oh, how do you, oh, God. There we go. Uh, equals false. Uh, oh no, true. Um, yep, a seven and sixty-six. It's it's kind of just as ugh, I don't really know what it wants you to say here uh, for the age with the least occurrence. Um, really, what you can do is put a histogram. That might actually be a better thing to do in this case um, than what they sort of asked for here. Or you can bucket it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to bucket it. So pd dot cut. Um, gives an X and gets some bins. So let's go ahead and make 10 bins. Um, uh, okay. The <clears throat> so users dot age. Um, so let's give it 10 bins and then let's go ahead and do uh, value counts. Okay. So the smallest bin is between six or seven years old and 13 years old. Um, the next smallest is here. So I, I hope you like the, the extra effort that I put into this one. I hope you guys would give me bonus credit. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll check out the uh, uh, solutions exercise with solution. Um, let's do that. Pandas, separator, oh, they did the index call in a single line, good for them. Uh, the head, tail, shape, ugh, that's fine. Columns, index, a dtype, you know, again, dot info gives you all of this. Um, in unique, value counts head, okay, that's fair. Describe, yeah, default, only numeric columns, all will get you all the columns. You can describe a single column, gives you the mean, uh, users, age, value, counts, tail. See, okay. Looks like I, I get an A plus for effort plus extra credit. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, please go ahead and give me a, a, a like and subscribe. I hope this was a little bit useful. Um, I'm not sure how, how useful it kind of is, but if you guys have any, have any questions or if you think this is useful, give it a thumbs up. I will say since this is a short one, um, I'm not going to do any more of these uh, until I know whether it's, this is something that is more useful for people. So if you think this is cool and useful, just sort of give it a thumbs up. You know, maybe if we get, you know, 100 likes, oh my God, that would be mind blowing. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll start making some more of these videos. It's probably not that much, maybe like seven or eight likes, which is a little bit embarrassing, but uh, yeah, well, thanks and I'll see you next time.